Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. And today I want to show you my camera equipment. Before we start with the video, I want to say that I had to name a lot of brands in this video. I had many different brands, Sony, Tough Case, Rode um, and a lot, of, a lot more and it is impossible to show or say them not. So it is everything self-bite. I've bought it at myself. It is no sponsoring, no advertising. So this is what I want to say before we start. I've got often the question, what camera equipment I use? And I've made in the past a video about how I create a YouTube film. But in this video I show only a small part of my camera equipment and there is a big change. So I've bought many new things and this is what I want to show you today. You know I had a lot of trouble at home. I had small children, I had the pets and um, there is always trouble. And my camera equipment is really expensive and I don't want that something happen with them. So I've bought those cases. They are from Tough Case and they are all shock resistant and when it comes hard to hard waterproof. And here inside it is everything safe, nothing can happen there. And this is in in this case is our my whole camera equipment included. And I want to show you now every part. Maybe you think three of these sweet cases are a little bit too much, but every case um, is important for me because there are other things inside. The reason why I've bought um, such a case is that I had my camera when I start to a new trip, I had it always at the car seat and um, the camera is not really safe there. So I was searching for something where I could can put my camera with all the equipment, um, with all the add-on parts that I had at the camera, put everything together in one box. And so this is why I've bought this big black one here because everything can um, be included into this case. I don't go with one of those cases into the forest, so they are only for my home and for the car. And when I was on a trip, on a tour, I had the camera the most times in the hand because I film a lot and very often, so I don't pack it away. So and when I was at a day trip or in the mountains or in forest walk, I had also those smart, um, those small camera backpack, but um, my, my important film video camera is too big that it's got here inside. At first I bought this one a few months ago, um, but now it is too small for my camera equipment. And I had um, since a long time a dream from a canoe trip over a river and here I can put all the equipment that doesn't should get wet inside and I can put it into the water behind of the canoe and everything is fine. I've put it also in my pool at home. It is completely water resistant and here inside there is also, um, yeah, you can take a look at yourself. It is absolutely shock proof because there is a special inlet. This is the expensive equipment that I have. This is the important video camera and system camera, objective and normally the camera which that I was actually filming is also included. And you see here is those form plastic pads and you can put them out so like you need it. 
in every size that you need it and so it fits perfect inside um, and this made those sweet case um, shock resistant. This is my heart piece. Maybe when you saw the last video, you see that they are changed a lot. So this here is on Sony Alpha 7 Mark II. It is my new camera and I had a lot of add-ons at it and I show you now part to part which add-ons they are. I am in the most parts on the way in a rough area, difficult area and it should not happen but sometimes it happened to me that the camera fall down and because of this I had here an aluminium cage around of the body from the camera so this body protect, this cage protect the camera so here around can nothing happen. Of course when it falls down at the lens, at the objective this part could be damaged but this here the importance point the body is now safe and all the add one parts are um, fixed here at this cage maybe you hear that the sound is changing now this had the reason that I had the radio microphone now here at this camera where I normally use it but I want to show it um, to you so I've put it away. So this is also a Rode microphone. It is the radio microphone, wireless, and um, this makes my voice very clear. And sometimes there are bad noises around like wind and when it is very windy, um, you don't hear the voice so clear. And so because of this, I've bought this wireless microphone. And I had also here those directional microphone, but this is not so good because the, the noise is only good when you stand in front of your camera, but I often film at the side or behind of the camera and when I show you some plants or something else and then the sound is very bad. So they are both in combination really good. Now must the sound be again much better because I fixed this wireless Go microphone again at this camera which that I was filming. But the best part at this wireless microphone is that I can go very far away from the camera and had a big distance and you also had my clear voice. I am now around 25 meters away from the camera and you must hear me almost very clear. Of course you can record with this wireless microphone also the sound from the closer area, the nature sound. When I wear it at my body um, you can hear only my voice and the noises that I make. When I put it far away or put it here around in the nature you can also hear nature sounds and maybe you want to film at an area where you can't stand with your camera so for example at a bird nest you've put this part close to a bird nest and go far away with your camera you also have the voice of them and they um, yeah you don't have to go very short to this place again At this camera where I actually filming I can swiveling the display so I can see when I stand in front of the camera what I am filming and if the picture is sharp or not and I had this part not at this camera so the display is movable here but it is not I cannot swiveling it so I see not what I am filming when I stand in front of the camera and I had often the situation, for example, that I filmed my setup, my sleeping setup, and I made the settings here at the camera. The picture is sharp, and then I go to my sleeping setup, and the sleeping setup is sharp, and my body not. 
So I had to put away those scenes and this, is, uh, this makes me very angry. So I've bought this field monitor here. This is an extra display. Um, it is fixed here at the case of the camera, at the cage. And here I can everything what I see here at the normal display. So I see the battery status, the settings, and if the picture is sharp or not, and what is at the picture. And this makes um, filming much easier for me. I have here on this aluminum cage two um, second handles, one here. So this one is very easy to put the camera into the case and out. And it is very nice to film direct over the ground with this. So I can um, film direct between my feet. And this here, with this I can make very smooth and easy um, views from the closer area so it is much easier to handle it for me and um, it is at with this cage it is so easy um, to, to put on other add one parts other accessoires so it makes filming for me much easier when you make photos or um, videos, you know that this part here is very sensible. This here is the entrance for the add one parts um, from, from the cables, from the add one parts. And I had here an extra cable clip to protect this um, important part because when you came on something or the camera fall down, it could be that the cable is broken or much better is when inside the metal is um, broken. So this part here, this cable clip, should save this part. I had at home this distant release, this shutter release, and it is possible to buy this handle with a shutter release included, but this is very expensive. So I made something at myself and do it yourself project because to the normal original shutter release at the um, body of the camera it is now not so easy to come to this point because of the microphone that is here on top. So I've made something by myself. I had this distant release and I had here just magnets and I've made it at myself so it is much easier for me to handle it. The last detail of this camera is this shoulder strap. I don't like the original strap that was included with the camera. So this here is from Peak Design and they are very easy to handle. You had here those small points. You can fix them um, at two points from your camera, wherever you want. And you can open it very easy and fast and can close it also very easy and I use this shoulder strap often to save my camera when I am in a mountain area or a rough area I put the strap here around of a tree so when the camera fall the shoulder strap should hold them because they hold on weight around um, 10 kilogram. This here is my heart piece importance camera, but you don't see anything from the new quality now because I've made all of this in the last two weeks. So I do not make a video which all those add one parts included. So you will see it in the future. And I had um, four different cameras, but only this one here with all those extra tools. 
and the other cameras are naked, so I want to show you now my other cameras. The Sony Alpha 7 is the first system camera that I've bought. Um, um, I'm not sure if the right translation for English is mirror camera. So before I had the system camera, I had the mirror camera. But the, this one here are much better. And you see every year came a new camera out with new technique. And they are always better and better and better. And between my old camera and this here was 10 years and uh, the, the, the difference is really massive between them. So, and I make the decision that I don't give away this camera. I want to have both system cameras because I am always, I'm also a writer for the survival magazine and I write my book. So for those um, both parts I need I need a good camera and with this here it is much easier to make photos because this here is naked and the other camera is not. And when I had to repair one camera I also had one as a backup. Also at this camera there is the shoulder strap and the hand handle from Peak Design. I like um, how they they create it, it is very easy and fast to remove them. I had the two objectives, the lens that was um, included from the camera and I had also a um, um, macro objective and then telephoto lens so when I am, um, um, I want to to make a video part, a video scene or a photo from a big distance, I use this and I can use every one of this at every from my system cameras. So this is my second system camera and now I want to show you the camera which that I am actually filming. This is a pure video camera. I hope you see now a big quality difference because I am filming now with my new video camera. And till this part I film with this camera. This is a Sony FDR AX. Um, 30, 35 and I filmed with this camera about three years and at first I had also a Sony camera like this a smaller one and this is the best part of this camera so you can remove the display and you can see in front of the camera what you are filming and um, this is a really good camera but it has not the same sharpness like the system camera and this is the reason why I've bought the system camera. Another positive thing of this camera is that I had here a night shot so I can film also in complete darkness and this is a really good thing but okay, um, it, it works also without night shot.
the more cameras you have, the more accessories you have. So I need for every camera an extra um, battery charger. So for the field monitor one, for every camera one, and every one of them with an extra cable. Um, this here is a remote control. So with this one I make the pictures for my videos. Very easy to go away with them, make a photo, um, you can have a big distance. So I said I had four cameras. This here is the fourth camera. This is a small action camera. It is not an expensive one, only very simple with a waterproof case. And I use this when I am at a canyoning trip or a bike trip. So the sound and, and the picture quality of this camera is not the best one. Um, this here is a camera cleaning kit. I use a very long time only on shirt to clean. But now I had here a brush inside, a towel. And with this air pump I can, um, I can for example, bring sand very easy away. So it is very important to clean your equipment. Um, then memory cards, different memory cards. I use a lot of memory cards for every camera. And power bank is also very important because I had for every camera an extra accu, an extra battery, but they are also empty after a few hours, so I had to rechargeable this camera. So um, I have at, at every trip one or two power banks with me. So this here is another hand um, handle but I don't use it and I also don't use the original Sony shoulder strips, I don't like them. A teeth brush, brush is also very good to clean your camera because you can come with these parts very deep um, into the camera and put a lot of um, dirt away. And this here is a very good part to fix the cables. Or when you had a cable which, which is broken, you can fix this with this part. So, and the other things here are only small um, extras for the camera cables and something else. This here is my carrying case for all the removable fixtures for all the accessoires. And of course, I could also remove this foam plastic pad here to head on part for every equipment, but um, I had so much inside here, so this doesn't make sense. And it's very good for me that I had everything here completed um, in this case. I have three different tripods. They are all from the same brand, Rollei. There's this one with the red applications is my Traveler. Um, tripod. I use it now for two years and it is a little bit damaged after these years because they are not building, they are not built for such an use like I do. So I use it more oftener than a normal person. So I've bought the black one. It is a carbon tripod. It is very lightweight and holds a lot of weight. So this is a really good one. And for making photos, I use the small one, the black one. So this is a very, very small one. And I use it only when I make photos for the survival magazine or I make pictures of a um, receipt and cooking receipt or something else. At this time, or in this case, only my three pots, but in the future I will use it um, as a small camera equipment case when I use the camera without um, all of these extras, I will use this case. It is not possible for me to buy all those new equipment without you because I've got from time to time from my subscribers a PayPal donation. So this is not a must, but some of you want to do this. So and at this point I had to say very, very big 
thank you. Without you is this not possible. So for me it is important that you had a good video quality. Not only what I show is important, also the quality of the video. The sound had to be good, the picture had to be good because you want to watch a video in a good quality. So from time to time I've bought something new and I hope you can see the difference in the next videos. So now you know which what equipment I make my YouTube films and thank you for watching. We see us again in the next video. Have a great time, stay safe, bye bye.